call America. That's not our rest. Really, this world, the system of this world, which is controlled by who? Esau, Edom, so-called white man. This is not our rest. So the scripture have directed us to arise and depart. And that's what this knowledge does for us. It gives us a mentality of arising and departing from the, the, the so-called pleasures of this world. Like me, I, I, I lead a very boring life, man. Like, you know, right now, a couple of females that wouldn't mind talking to me, that, that claim they're in the, you know, claim they're in the truth, but who wouldn't want to get with a guy like me? Because I have like a very boring life. You know why? Because to me, everything in this life is BS. The only thing that makes sense to me is engulfing my mind in this truth. You know? That's the only thing that makes sense to me because everything else is BS, bullshit, you know? That's right. So I live a very simple, boring life because I'm waiting, patiently waiting. That's right, man. You know, and, and, I, and I can relate. I can definitely say the same is for me. And I believe that if you're, you know, truly a servant of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, you're going to live a boring life because you have already come to the realization that you know this is not your world this is not our world you know just like the apostle said it's some bullshit man you know here it is all these idiots around us they find all these different pleasures in this life and we look at that shit like no that's nothing not interested Because this is not our rest. This is not our home. This is not our place. This is not our resting place. Like the scripture says, how, you know, there's no continual city. So like, yeah, let me get that spelling. Uh, continual. Yeah, Hebrews 13 and 14, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, here it is, we're in our captivity. We don't have anything here. We don't have a home, even though we do, but, you know, our home is being, our homeland is being occupied. Really, well, really the whole planet belongs to the Israelites. The earth was created for the sakes of the Israelites. It, it, that's spoken of in the book of Second Edris. I want to say the sixth chapter, but... You know, um, you know, this shit is whack as hell, man. Bills, you know, getting old, <laughs> you know, um, and the, all, all the all the 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 the, the hip, uh, hypocrisy in the justice system and politics and business. Just it's just a whole bunch of bullshit, man. And and we live simple lives because we are we're detached from it. You know, we don't find uh, we, we're not seeking to find. Uh, to be content, you know, in this world, in this kingdom. We want out. We want our own. You know, and the Lord is going to give us our own, man. And I, I just got a few precepts I'm going to go ahead and bring out. You know, I was just kind of inspired to, uh, to to bring out a few precepts after watching that clip. Uh, this is Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. For I'm just, And I'm just going to get straight to the point because I don't want to make this too long. It says, for which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. And our outward man is is uh, represented by the flesh. All right. So our bodies, our flesh is getting older day by day, which is what is is, is perishing. It's, it's it that, you know, we're, we're getting closer to death. But our inward man, which is what? The spirit. The spirit is being renewed day by day. Because the Lord is increasing us in the spirit, increasing us in the in the faith, right? We're we're doing works that that um, that that cater to the to to uh, to the fruit of the spirit. Now, what are what are the fruits of the spirit? Let's get that.
Ephesians 5 and 9, for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Let's get Galatians 5 and uh, 22. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such there is no law. So we're increasing in these things, which are the, you know, uh, that, which comes from the uh, from the spirit. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Yahweh Shai, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Now, I want to get that in the NLT version because I know that's that's pretty, it's a pretty bad scripture in the NLT. Uh, saying, and it'll prove my point too. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse... 17. It says, this means that anyone who belongs to Yahweh Shai has become a new person. The old life is gone. Woo! <laughs> a new life has begun. So just like the elder apostle said, man, he, he lives a boring life. But you think it was always that way? Because uh, elder apostle Gabar came into the truth, I think, when he was like he, in his mid-20s. You know, like a lot of brothers. A lot of brothers came in his truth in their 20s. And here it is, you at the prime of your life where you you know your looks are good, your body your body is it it, it it in peak performance. You know, especially if you came in, you know, in the eighties, nineties, you know, early two thousands. You know. But like it just like we just read though. When you, when you, if hey, if you belong to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai gonna pull you out the world, man. And guess what? The old life is gone, and then your new life begins. Your real life, which is serving the Lord, you know, the ministry, the brotherhood, prophesying, hasten, hastening the day and the coming of our Lord. Oh yeah, let me get this in NLT too. Second, that uh, Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter two, verse three uh, in NLT, it says, endure suffering along with me as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life, for then they cannot uh, please the officer who enlisted them. So you can't be getting caught up in the ways of the world, or the problems of the world, man. Why? Because we're here to fulfill a purpose, to fulfill a mission. Man, we're, on, we're soldiers for Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah. We're here. To prophesy. That's our main thing. To prophesy. Preach the word, man. Be, be in season, in, in season and out of season, right? Let me get that real quick. Which is in 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter, verse 2. It says, Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Uh, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. So this is what we're here for. We're here to preach the word, man. This is this is we, we're here to serve the Lord, man. Because it tells you in Ecclesiastes the twelfth chapter, that's the whole duty of man, which is to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And call all you Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for calling us out of the world to do this work, man. Because this is a very honorable thing that we're a part of. Uh, last precept. All right, last one. Because, again, you know, going into, as the elder Apostle Gabar said, you know, uh, this is not our rest. He was he was quoting Micah, the second chapter, but this is not our rest. We've forsaken the things of this world, man, and we're looking for the, the world to come. All right, and this is what the prophets did during the, uh, the disciples did during the time of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right, Matthew 19 and 28, and Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have for, who which have followed me in the regeneration, which is the reincarnation, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. 
And every one that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. Now, I should have started at 27, because it says here, Then answered Peter, and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all, and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? So, the Lord let him know, hey, you you let go of everything, you know, for, for, for the sake of my name and this work. I'm going to give you everything. I'm going to give you everything back plus plus more, you know. So even though, you know, it seems like we live a boring life and that we're, 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 we're you know, we're doing this. We're, we're this way for a reason, man, because this is not where our glory lies. You see, you got a lot of a lot of people in the world that are. Um, that are pursuing vain glory. That's why it doesn't end. It's a never-ending cycle of happiness in this life. You know, you get a, you get you get this degree, you happy. Now you want another degree. Now you want another degree. You get this car. Now you want another car. You get this relationship. Now you want another relationship because of, because you never find everlasting happiness with the things you find here. It's always a temporary. Uh, a moment of fulfillment because it's vain. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end up through the spirit.